subscribe, click on the bell, like, comment, share. The Greek physician Hippocrates wrote in the 5th century BC about a bitter powder extracted from willow bark that could ease aches and pains and reduce fevers. Nowadays, this is a common drug. Give the name of this modern medicine. Study the graph showing the leading causes of death per 100,000 population in the year 1900. Identify the causes of death by infectious diseases, that is, diseases caused by bacteria and viruses. Now look at the leading causes of death in 1995. Identify the causes of death by infectious diseases. In 1900, about half of the leading causes of death were infectious diseases. By 1995, only two of the leading causes of death were by infectious diseases. What do you think has reduced the deaths caused by infectious diseases such as tuberculosis, pneumonia, diphtheria and others? There are two chests containing various traditional medicines derived from plants and animals. An ailment will be displayed in the box shown. Open one of the chests to find the correct traditional medicine for the ailment. Drag and drop the correct traditional medicine into the box. These are some examples of traditional medicines and their uses. These traditional herbs or animal products are used as medicines to cure diseases. The photographs show eight examples of modern medicines or drugs. Mouse over each photo to find out the function of the drug. Group the drugs into three types according to their functions. Drag and drop the drugs into the three boxes provided. Drugs that are used to relieve pain without affecting consciousness and numbness are known as analgesics. Analgesics do not treat the cause of pain but provide relief from the pain. Infections caused by bacteria are treated with drugs known as antibiotics. Antibiotics can kill or slow down the growth of microorganisms, especially bacteria and fungi. Drugs that affect the mind are also known as psychotherapeutic drugs. They are used to treat people with mental illness and who are not in control of their thoughts, feelings and behavior. There are three categories of psychotherapeutic drugs. Stimulants are used to increase the level of activity, arousal and the alertness of the mind. For example, amphetamine is prescribed to relieve mild depression and fatigue. Antidepressants are used to increase the activity of neurotransmitters, chemicals that pass signals between nerve cells in the brain. For example, the tranquilizers barbiturate or floxetine are prescribed to moderately depressed patients who feel sad, hopeless and may have crying spells. Antipsychotic drugs are used to reduce the activity of neurotransmitters in the brain. For example, Clozapine is prescribed to schizophrenia patients who tend to hear non-existent voices or believe other people are plotting to harm them. 
No modern or traditional medicine is 100% safe. Taking medicine for the correct purpose and following directions provided will ensure the effectiveness of the medication. Accompanying side effects which sometimes may be serious will also be minimized. Look at each of the modern and traditional medicines on the screen. Click on each of them to display the effects of taking these medicines. Select by clicking on the side effects of taking these medicines. It is important to know the significant side effects of both modern and traditional medicines. Awareness of the dangers in medications can be achieved through reading and following the instructions on the printed labels of the drugs or following the doctor's advice. In this lesson, we have learned that the two tables show examples of traditional medicine from plants and animals. Selase plants are used to treat coughs, colds, and bronchitis. Turmeric can be applied directly to treat pimples. Psyllium husk is used to treat constipation. Garlic can help reduce high blood pressure. Misai kuching is used to reduce the sugar level in diabetic patients. Water boiled with gamut is used to treat cuts, sores, and stomach ulcer. Honey can be applied directly on the scalded skin to relieve the pain. Bird's nest soup is used to treat asthma. In general, traditional medicine are drugs from plants and animals that are used to treat ailments. The table shows examples of modern drugs grouped under three groups of medicine. Their functions are also shown. Analgesics are drugs that are used to relieve pain without affecting consciousness and numbness. Examples of analgesics are paracetamol, aspirin, and codeine. Antibiotics can kill or slow down the growth of microorganisms, especially bacteria and fungi. Penicillin and streptomycin are common examples of antibiotics. Drugs that affect the human mind are known as psychotherapeutic drugs. Examples of psychotherapeutic drugs are fluzetin, antidepressants, clozapine, antipsychotics, and amphetamine, stimulants. The correct ways to use traditional and modern medicine include identifying the medicine and the reason you're taking it. Taking the correct dosage. Following the times at which the medicines should be taken. Avoiding taking alcohol with the medicines. Following instructions on when to stop taking the medicine. Knowing of the medicine's side effects. Keeping the medicine out of the reach of children. The table shows the possible side effects of modern and traditional medicines. Some of the side effects are serious and may be fatal, such as the allergic reaction to penicillin and liver and kidney damage in children when given aspirin. Amphetamines and most psychotherapeutic drugs are addictive. Other possible side effects like drowsiness, headaches and abdominal cramps are less serious. No medicine is 100% safe. It is important to be aware of the possible side effects when taking any medicine. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon.